Hey y'all, it's me Marty, and welcome to another video. Welcome to another Quick Tips video. <laughs> so I started these, the series of Quick Tip videos just to share some things that I know with you all. Some quick tips. But the funny thing about this, they're really not that quick. <laughs> the first one I did was on scroll sign, and I think it was 45 minutes. This one, yeah, it'll probably be a little longer too. But the thing is, it's 10 quick tips but I'm expanding on each tip just to give you more information. <laughs> so, in this one, I am going to talk about truck driving because I have a little bit of experience with truck driving and I've been doing it for over 20 years now, off and on, <laughs> and I've learned a lot. And I just want to share with you what I've learned. So, here we go. Okay, quick tip number one is to realize the pros and cons of truck driving okay so and i'm actually speaking to uh somebody who's thinking about starting a career in truck driving okay that's kind of what these tips are but i guess anybody can you know maybe get something from them and again these are just my personal thoughts my opinions my experience um take it with a grain of salt or a grain of rice or a grain of wheat or whatever whatever you like to eat <laughs> it's just my personal tips okay so number one is to realize the pros and cons of truck driving there is a lot of pros and cons let's start with the cons okay <laughs> so truck driving is a hard job um, it's long hours long days and it can be tough you're away from home a lot um, depending on what kind of trucking you're doing, you're away from home, and that's hard. Um, you have to deal with weather and traffic and rotten drivers <laughs> and, you know, all the different things on the road. The waiting to get loaded and unloaded, to get a load, the delays and all that stuff. And again, being away from home, missing your family, missing out on different things that are happening at home not being there to do the chores and projects and responsibilities that you have at home. There's a lot of things that could be hard on the road. What's some other things? I didn't script this. I don't script any of my videos, y'all. <laughs> I just kind of wing it. Um, some of the other hard things that are on the road are what, you know, other drivers and what people think of truck drivers. And, you know, truck driving is a very important career. And it is a very good job. It's not for everybody, but it's a good job. And it's important. And everything you have is brought brought by a truck driver. <laughs> and I haul food mostly, and food is important, and I help feed the country, you know. So, you know, it is an important job, but a lot of people look down on truck drivers and think they're not the best drivers. Well, actually, I think the truck drivers, most truck drivers are the best truck drivers. Um, and, yeah, lots of different things to deal with on the road. Some of the pros... Um, if you don't like being cooped up in a building all day, you like working by yourself. Trucking's a good career. You get to drive and see the country. You can drink coffee and listen to music while you work all day. You work on your own. You're pretty much your own boss. Even though you have a boss, you're kind of a subcontractor. It's like you're your own boss. And, you know, you do what you want. I mean, you got to do the job good and you got to do it well. But you decide... But you got to kind of know when you need to get up, when you need to start driving, how long you have to drive every day. And you need to know your routes and where you're going and, you know, how to do that. Um, but for the most part, you work on your own, you know, and you can take your family on the road. You can make memories on the road. You know, I've taken my wife and my kids and even my dad, you know, on the road with me. You can make memories on the road. Um, and again, it is a good career. It can be good paying career. Um, there's a lot of satisfaction of taking a load and bringing it somewhere and then getting another load and coming back. Um, one of the things I really like about it, so I'm usually out a week or two and then I'm home for a whole week. And I, the company I work for is very flexible. I can drive as much as I want or as little as I want and be home as whenever I need to be. Very flexible. Um, so yeah, there's different pros and cons. That's just a few um, of the pros and cons um, but that's important to think about you know when you're thinking about a career in truck driving think about it think about if it'd be good for your family for the most part 
if you have a family, especially a young family, I wouldn't suggest trucking. It can work, and I did it when my kids were young. I made it work because I'm a devoted husband and father. When I wasn't driving, when I wasn't working, I was with my family. It can work for a family, but it's not ideal. But being in the military and be you know other jobs that take you away from home, that's not ideal either. But you can make it work. But um, it's great for a single person, um, and it can work for a family too. Just just look at the pros and cons and decide if it's good for you and your family. Okay, so quick tip number two for truck driving: get good training. Okay, so there's some guys out there who probably say, oh, I just grew up on a farm and I drove all the trucks on the farm and I was kind of grandfathered in and got a job as a truck driver and I've been trucking all my life. Yeah, that's possible and could be true for some people. Um, never went to truck driving school or got any good training, um, but they had training at home, on the farm maybe, and then learned as they went, you know. But nowadays that's pretty hard. Most good companies won't hire you unless you have good training. And even if they would, it, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's just like school, college for other different things. For truck driving, it's the same thing. It's really good, it's really important to get good training. So I went through a truck driving school and it didn't take long. Some of them are like three, four weeks, up to six months. And some of them are pretty cheap. Some of them are real expensive. Mine was really quick. It was only three weeks, which was good because then I could start working and making money quicker. Um, but it was real expensive. It was like $5,000 or something. It was crazy. But I got really good training and it helped me get started in truck driving career. And I, w I got into a really good company right away. And I think it was because I, got, I came from a good school and I got good training. So that's really important. Think about that. You can't just jump in something uh, you know, this is a lot of responsibility to drive a truck and you can't just dr jump into a truck and just think that you can do it without getting good training, just like anything else. So that's what the tip number two that I would suggest is to get good training in a good school, um, a good truck driving school um, before you go to apply at a, at a company and start your career. Okay, quick tip number three. Decide what kind of truck driving you want to do. There's all different kinds of truck driving. Um, so I'm an over the road truck driver. You know, I drive all over the country in every state. I take all kinds of loads. I go all over, I drive over the road. So I'm out anywhere from a week to sometimes two and a half weeks, sometimes three weeks, not very often. Usually average about two weeks. But I'm an over the road truck driver. So that's one thing you can do. Or you could drive regionally. Regionally is like in a five state area within a couple states of where you live. And you know, you could be out, you know, two, three, four, five days and then you're home for a few days or whatever. That's more regional runs. Um, and then there's local truck driving. And that's where you're home every day. You know, you're just, you know, you're driving around the cities or, or whatever, within 100 miles, within 200 miles. That's more local. <laughs> Now, just my opinion, local is hard because uh, they can make you work longer. <laughs> so, if you're an over-the-road truck driver, you, you know they, you know, you drive 11 hours a day. That's all you can drive, and that's within 14 hours on duty, and it's 70 hours within seven days, seven eight days, um, and so you get a 10-hour break every day, every night. Well, in local truck driving, they don't go by all those rules, and they can make you drive longer. I've had a few local truck driving jobs, and I just didn't like them. I mean, I want to be home, but it's not worth it to, to do local. I've never found a good one anyway. Um, I mean, when I drove local, I tried it a few times, and it seems like each time I would start at 4 or 5 in the morning and get home like 6, 7, 8 at night. I mean, I barely any time with my family, hardly enough time to sleep. So, but that is an option, and maybe there's some good local ones out there. There's a lot of local trucking. There's a lot of over-the-road trucking jobs, and regional, and uh, local. There's tons of need for good truck drivers. There's, they need so many. I don't. I think there's like two million trucks on the road right now, something like that, and they need like a new half a million every year. It's crazy. Um, but those are some different options. You could also do, you know, like 
You could drive garbage truck. Those are actually pretty good paying jobs. That's a day job. They're long days. They're like 12, 14 hour days. You know, my days are, are you know, at the most 14 hours and that's including the whole day. Some days, my days are only eight to 10 hours. Um, but driving garbage truck, that's an option. Um, driving like hopper trucks and tanker trucks um, locally, like seasonally for farmers, that's another option. And actually, if you have a CDL, you know, you can drive buses too. You can drive school bus and coach buses. So there's a lot of different things you can do with a CDL. Um, so yeah, think about what kind of driving you want to do. Okay, number four. Quick tip number four. Get into a good company. Okay, so when I first started driving truck, I got into a really big company. I'm not going to mention the name, but it was a really big company. They have like 7,000 trucks or so, probably more now. They were a big company, but I only stayed with them for a couple of weeks. Actually, I didn't even get through the training because the trainer was horrible. Some of the rules of the company were horrible, and it sounded like I was going to be out like a month and then home for a couple of days. That's just too much. Just some different things about it, and I was basically just a number. Now, I'm not saying that all big companies are like that, but I just like small companies. Um, I, the company I drive for, they're great. The boss is wonderful. The dispatchers are wonderful. Everybody is great. Very flexible. They're really good to me. Um, it's a small company. We only have like six, seven drivers. And I like small companies. But wherever you work, whatever company you get into, whether it's a large company or a small one, Get into a good company that cares about you and knows you by name and you're not just a number. You know, good pay and benefits, that matters. But the way they treat you really matters too. And, you know, allowing you to be home when you need to be home. And uh, just covering costs when things, when you're delayed and you have to sit. Um, caring about you and uh, as a person and as a driver. And, uh, yeah, so try to get into a good company. Okay, tip number five, safety. Be safe, be a safe driver. And I, when I talk safety, I'm talking about a few different things. Uh, you know, be a, a good driver, be a safe driver. You're driving a 80,000 pound bomb. That's what a truck really is. And it, you could do a lot of damage, you could hurt a lot of people if you're not driving safe. So be a safe driver. Stay off your phone, don't touch your phone. It, you know, it's okay to answer it or, or make a call or whatever, um, but make sure your phone is mounted on the dash, mounted somewhere, um, that you have a Bluetooth or you have it hooked up so that it plays through your speakers. Um, you don't want to be fiddling around with your phone. Definitely don't be holding your phone. Don't let your phone be a distraction. Don't let anything be a distraction. You know, drinking your coffee, <laughs> eating a hamburger, putting a cassette tape in, well, CD, <laughs> whatever you're playing, <laughs> you're putting music in. Don't let anything be a distraction. Focus on the road. Don't take your eyes off the road for more than a second because you can cause a horrible accident. Every day I pray, I ask God to protect me, but even more to protect others around me. I don't want to ever cause an accident. And so, yeah, just be a good, safe driver. Pay attention, be alert. And also, do your inspections. Do your pre-trip inspection, do your post-trip inspection. Don't just write it on your log that you did and then don't do it, or type it in your e-log like I do. Actually get out and do it. You don't have to take long. <coughs> 10, 15 minutes, just check everything. The tires, the lights, the wiring, everything on the truck and trailer. Check everything, make sure everything is good. Do that in the morning when you start driving and at night when you're done driving. Uh, do a pre-trip and a post-trip. And actually, I think every time you stop and fuel up or if you stop to take a break, um, when you're unloading, loading, just walk around and check the truck. Make sure everything is running good. Check all your fluids and just make every, make sure everything is always running right because you can uh, save money on repairs and you can save time and you can prevent an accident. Um, so yeah, just be safe in all the different areas of truck driving. Okay, tip number six in truck driving, be organized. It kind of goes along with safety in a way too. Just be organized in everything you do. 
Um, <laughs> I don't like this organization. I really don't. I think it's. Uh, I think this organization dishonors God. I think it uh, is disrespectful to other people. Um, you know, like being late or, or not having some organized and making things harder for other people. Um, and I just think disorganization causes stress uh, for yourself and for others. And it just makes things a mess and makes things hard. Um, so it's good to be organized. I try to, I'm not perfect. I, I'm far from perfect. But I try to be organized in every area of my life. And that goes for truck driving in my truck. You know, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> you know, I have supplies and uh, different things for truck driving. You know, I have my clipboard and my trip envelopes. You know, my atlas and my, my log, my uh, permit book. You know, I have just lots of different things. Pens and pencils and, and notepads and the clipboards and different things. And then I have tools and, you know, uh, on my, and I have a camera on the dash and I have a, a tablet and, and different wiring and <laughs> all the different things and uh, and then I I live in here when I'm on the road it's just the way it is you know so I have bedroom stuff I have bathroom stuff I have kitchen stuff I have food and cooking stuff and for coffee I have a microwave and a refrigerator and cupboards and I have a bunk and and then I have my hobby stuff in here. I have my backpacks and my mandolin and I have books and my Bible and, you know, my bushcraft stuff and hiking stuff, camping things and just different things. And it's a lot of stuff and I try to keep it organized. Um, and that keeps things safe and that makes it so you can find things when you need them. And, uh, and for, you know, your fluids for your truck and your tools and you know where the uh, fire extinguisher is and uh, the... Uh, reflectors are and uh, you know all the different tools that you need um, you know and just that everything that that's in here that's your personal stuff and also the stuff that you use for driving and for doing the job <laughs> people waving at me as they see me talking on a phone <laughs> um, yeah so be organized in all different areas of your truck driving job okay number seven Plan ahead and be on time. Being on time is another form of respect. You know, if we're late for things, then it's just it just it's disrespectful to other people's time. So be on time. And how are you how are you on time? Well, you got to plan ahead. So know where you're going. Look ahead. You know, plan, I'm loading tomorrow morning, and I'm already planning my route. I'm planning when I'm going to start driving and. How many miles I got to get tomorrow and the next day and my route I'm driving you know I plan you know where I'm gonna fuel up uh, where the trip you know the main truck stops that I like to stop at and the rest areas so I know you know where to stop for breaks or whatever and I'm I even have an idea where I'm gonna end the day tomorrow and the next day I'm planning ahead and I'm planning on being to my delivery early and so yeah you got to plan it takes planning you have to you know look at the GFP the, look at the GPS and look in your your atlas or whatever you use for routing your your runs and your driving um, and plan plan ahead and be on time and when you're on time it just shows respect for other people's time and as far as trucking I mean if you're late you might have to wait a day or two or three or four <laughs> they might have to reschedule it because you're late and even if they do take you, well, that kind of sets everything else off because some of these companies have hundreds of deliveries a day, a lot of trucks. And so all the other trucks are going to be delayed because of you. And that actually affects their day too and their life and their family. It affects a lot of people when we're late. So, um, yeah, just plan ahead for your trips and your, the way you're driving and even getting home, all that stuff. Plan ahead, be on time, and just do your best. Hey y'all, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Number eight, eat healthy. <laughs> I like my chips. That's a challenge, it's one of the cons that's really hard when you're truck driving to be healthy. Um, to eat healthy is just really hard you're driving all day, you're sitting all day. It's hard to 
stop and have a good meal. You know, a lot of the truck stops have good food, but a lot of it's greasy and fried and uh, processed. Um, so you don't want to do that all the time. Um, and you can eat junk food and stuff while you're driving. I, I'm snacking all the time when I'm driving, but I try to do it more healthy these days. Um, and it's hard, you know, you can make your own meals. I make a lot of my own meals in the truck, and I do better than I used to. But you can't always do that. I mean, like tomorrow, I'm going to drive all day long. I probably won't have a chance to make a meal till evening. And then it's kind of not the best to have your biggest meal, your evening meal, especially if you don't get any exercise after. Um, so it's really a challenge. Um, I, you know, I try to eat healthy things. You know, I have bananas. You know, I try to eat fruit and veggies. Yeah, I have beef sticks and beef jerky. Um, nuts and different things every once in a while I'll get some M&M's <laughs> but I try to eat healthy when I'm eating the snacks throughout the day you know I try to have a decent breakfast you know um, and I try to have a decent uh, dinner but I try to get some exercise after dinner I don't always and especially if it's late it's hard but uh, yeah just do your best to eat healthy because otherwise you could be really overweight and uh, not be healthy at all and you, you don't want you don't want to do that so you have to make it a priority to eat healthy um, and it's a little more of a challenge in this kind of job but you can do it um, and I need to lose weight and I need to be eating better and be more active and uh, I'm on the way but yeah I got a long way to go but um, yeah make it a priority to eat healthy while you're a truck driver okay number nine be active. It goes along with eating healthy. I think being active is even more important than eating healthy, but they're both important. Um, you know, God created us to move. He, he made us to be active, to, to, to be moving and doing things. And so, yeah, get exercise if you can. And for me, it's really hard to just get exercise to do exercise. <laughs> I don't like going to the gym and doing stuff like that. Some of you maybe do that. Do it if you can. As far as being a truck driver, it's harder, but you can bring stuff. You can have, you can you do jumping jacks and jump rope, and you can have weights in your truck, and you can do different things outside of your truck. I've seen guys doing that. Um, do whatever you can to get exercise every day. Um, for me, I don't like to exercise just to exercise. I like to do the things I enjoy, and then it's exercise. Like, I love hiking, so I like to get hikes in whenever I can, and as a bonus, it's exercise. It's really good exercise, actually. Sometimes I can't get a hike, so I'll go for a walk or I'll run. I try to run a few times a week. I don't like running, but it's good for me. Um, biking, I really enjoy biking. I'm trying to do that more. Canoeing, but you know, you can do shooting baskets, uh, playing catch with your kids or grandkids or your spouse or chasing your spouse around the bedroom, <laughs> making love. I mean, that's exercise. Sorry, I yeah, I just it just popped into my head. Sorry. <laughs> But there's different ways you can exercise and you can enjoy the exercise. Do things that you enjoy, things that are fun, but you're active and you're getting exercise on top of it. So it's just really kind of, a, it's another priority that you have to make while you're a truck driver because I'm just walking in circles out here. <laughs> um, you gotta make it a priority and be active every day. You know, have it part of doing uh, your inspections, you know, walking around the truck. And if you st make stops here and there, Run laps around the truck. Walk around the truck and checking out the things and you're getting exercise too. So yeah, number nine, be active. Stay active, make it a priority as you're a truck driver. Okay, and finally, number 10, do your best. Whatever you do in life, whether it's truck driving, whatever your job is, whatever your mission is, whatever your hobby is, whatever you're doing, do your best. Honor God in whatever you're doing. You know, be the best truck driver you can be, be safe. Uh, and, and in doing that, you're honoring yourself, you're honoring your boss, the company, you're honoring your family, and you're honoring God. So yeah, do your best. And enjoy it too. I know a lot of people hate their jobs and have really hard jobs that are just not fun. But, you know, working isn't a sin. God made us to work, and it, it can be a blessing, and it is a blessing. And to be able to work. And you can enjoy your work. And I know some have harder jobs and different jobs or whatever. But just try. Try to enjoy your job. I would much rather be home. I would much rather be a teacher. But that's not going to happen. I'm a truck driver. And I'm actually pretty good at it. And I like being on the road. And I like driving. So, you know, I, I'd rather be home. But I have to work. And this is what I do for work right now. So I try to do my best. 
and yeah, I, it kind of came natural to me, and so I could almost do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> I'm not going to, but <laughs> you know, I don't, you know, so I'm always ahead pretty much, you know, because I plan ahead and I, you know, stay organized and all the different things. So a lot of times I have extra time and I have downtime sometimes. So then I can enjoy my hobbies on the road too. You know, like I say, I get a hike in all, at many different places all around the country. I get a little hike in when I can, when I have downtime. You know, I have my my carving kit and I carve spoons in the truck here when I have downtime. My mandolin, you know, I learned, you know, learning to play that. Uh, reading and just talking to people and, you know, just it, trying to enjoy being on the road too. And then that, the beautiful day and God's creation and just... Uh, the blessing of being able to work, you know, and I listen to music and listen to YouTube videos and podcasts and, you know, devotions and stuff while I drive. And it's, so I try to do my best and I try to enjoy it. So that's it. That's my 10 quick tips for truck driving. <laughs> and hope, hopefully it wasn't too long. Hopefully you got something out of it. Again, it's not everything. It's just 10 things that I thought of that are important to me and that I kind of think of. Um, you know, if you're thinking about becoming a truck driver, um, yeah, please put, uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, put your comments down below, down there, wherever it is, <laughs> you know where they go. And, uh, yeah, if you have other ideas, other thoughts or other, other things that you think are important, um, yeah, put them in the comments. Let's talk back and forth. That's what's fun about YouTube. And that's why I like getting comments and people talking back and forth and giving more info and information, things I don't know. I learn, I con I'm constantly learning. Yeah, I do enjoy teaching, but I really like to learn too, and I'm never going to stop learning. Um, and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. I got, I'm got i getting close to a thousand. It's crazy. All different things. And again, I just like to encourage and inspire and uh, help you smile. So I hope this helped you smile, and I hope you got something out of this video. And yeah, I'll be doing more quick tip videos. I'm going to do one on getting started in woodworking. And even things I don't know a lot about, like bushcraft, I'm just learning bushcraft, but I've already learned a lot, so I want to share it. Um, yeah, just some other different things that I, I am learning and have learned that I want to share with y'all. Um, anyway, I'm going to end this video. It's been way too long already. I hope you're all doing well. I pray that God is blessing you in your life. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. It really means a lot to me that you watch my videos and uh, I just, I hope my videos are a blessing to you. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.